Hi, I'm Lynn. And I'm Stuart. And we're here at the Bristol Hi-Fi Show 2024. What we've done is we've got loads of video for you. We've got loads of write-ups and all that kind of thing. The show's absolutely fantastic. The coverage we've got so far has been absolutely brilliant. And it's, I think it's the most attended Hi-Fi Show in the UK. Uh, and it's definitely an absolutely brilliant show. People have been queuing up both Friday and this morning. Massive queue out. Massive queues of people, which is really good to see. It's a very good thing for the industry, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, enjoy. I've been into hi-fi since 1980, so what's that? Many, many years, 40 odd years, yeah. Yeah, I've been listening to music since I was born. I was born into it. My father used to make his own speakers, build his own speaker systems. So I've been listening to proper stereo sound since I was, well, since I was literally, I was born. I would say I sort of advance and know my stuff. Uh, I play an instrument like guitar and stuff, so I've got a musical ear. I know what it sounds like, say studio-wise, but I also know what it sounds like if you're in a concert listening to natural instruments. And for me, if I'm at home, I'd like to enjoy the music. I want to be able to um, hear the musicality and get absorbed. I'm obviously very keen on Hi-Fi, so one of the biggest shows in the UK, many manufacturers, lots of records to buy and to meet some friends. Yeah, so we've uh, travelled about 200 miles, I suppose, to get here. Second time I've been to this show, but uh, yeah, it's um, a lot of people uh, exhibiting their things. I know Tom Evans, he does the uh, Tom Evans audio design equipment. So I from here on Monday, I'll go and visit him. He's got a couple of amplifiers he's doing for me. Also the interaction with the manufacturers to understand how they actually create the gear, not just the manufacturing process, but the ideas where it came from. Part of me is I wanted to see the guys and see some of the sort of more esoteric British brands, especially uh, people bringing their own new products. Um, some of the small companies that have just brought out something new. Brands I've never heard of. You do get an impression of what the sound is like, you know. I'm not uh, technical, but I like to um, hear good quality sound. As long as it's high quality, then uh, you know, I'm happy. I really came to sort of look at uh, turntables as well. So I've seen a couple of those. I think I start by reviews, I read some of the magazines, so I'll get a, a grounding from there, from the reviewer's perspective, and then I'll go and see if I can listen to it, and then maybe get something hold to try, try it out. I think if you're going to spend thousands on something, then you want as much experience as you can of the what's in the market before you get your short list. And then how you buy it is down to yourself. You either just take it on trust or you find a dealer who's prepared to actually you know, invest the time. But how do you know which equipment to put on your short list if you've never heard of it, you know? So it's, it's definitely early part of the process. As much as anything, there's a big variety of stuff and the guys coming in from Ireland, you know, north of England and all over, and we've all got different things to see, so it means that we all get to share a bit of each's favorite stuff. So it's nicer to come with a group than just on your own. We came last night, uh, stayed at a hotel, 
we'll stay another night and um, we'll be heading back uh, on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I'll come back, definitely. Enjoyed it. You feel welcome here and everybody here is, is nice. It's always good to engage with the uh, manufacturers. Seeing the kit is fine, but just understanding why and how all their sort of ideas came to be and the product. And I, I really like that side of things. It's always good to know. Good to have a debate with them as well. Thank you.